Bi piacir kbir nil-qasur l-Ulrik Bez fil-program ta'na dan u abnidem li għandu karriera twila fil-dinja automobilistika u fil-fat għandu għafna esperienzi xiaq sammana. Bis, għan nisamaw fi klimu, how long ago, when were you first involved in the automotive industry? In the industry, before I studied aircraft engineering, I had a practice in Porsche. But uh, before that, I have been involved in building uh, wooden uh, carts with uh, bearings running down, damaging my knees. So this was not actually uh, industry, but it was something which has to, to was together with mobility. You've been involved in a number of different big brands. You mentioned Porsche for one. Um, how, 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 what, what type of experiences, what type of responsibilities did you have, for example, with Porsche? Yeah, with Porsche, I started, I had actually my, uh, uh, my, final, my final work as an engineer. I, ha I still as a student, I had at Porsche. Uh, the car I had uh, to use and to, to demonstrate that we, can, that we can measure by cost down, uh, uh, test the, the track coefficient. I crashed the car with a total, a total write-off. Uh, which then uh, uh, qualified me to get a job in 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 Porsche. This was at this time. This was at this time something. Yeah, and then I started there in in the research department, and uh, from the research department, uh, I made a dissertation at the at the very end during my work in in, in Porsche. Do they still some of the uh, ideas you you developed up to today? Yeah, it is, uh, this is a really a, a, a pity. I had at this time a uh, lot of patent in, in the context of uh, uh, body, body structure and body safety, but because it's so long ago, all the patents have uh, expired, Expired, but, but the, 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 the design and the details are still in use, so, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't help me. That's, that's, uh, uh, that's gone. I was in total 17 years with, with Porsche, uh, and I only claim one thing for me, uh, when I came back, I had the task to replace the Porsche 911 uh, by a new concept, by a new car. I had 2,000 engineers to do this, but I, after six months, I said, no, the 911 is the backbone of the company, and this was my contribution to Porsche in 17 years. So the 911, so the 911 is still there because I didn't start with 2,000 engineers, a replacement like from a Volkswagen Beetle to a Golf or whatever is there. So, uh, and in and in and in Deo, in the in the in the meantime, I think. This is still one of the most successful smaller cars. Was the Deo Matisse, the first the first car series with four doors, uh, one meter, one point five meter wide, uh, three point two meter long, four seater car, uh, which could be produced uh, in in seven days a week, twenty four hours. Uh, was the car of the year in Italy? Was the car of the year in in um, England? So I was not always in in the, in the high end, but was, so so this was this was again a, a disruption because there was no other car like this before in this market, and then comes Aston Martin. And then Aston Martin. What what state did you find Aston Martin in when you first joined? I had no idea about what Aston Martin is because I was never interested in the cars. I was never. They were never. Good enough for me. I know. Of, I knew, of course, uh, uh, the Goldfinger and DB5 and, and, and James Bond and Sean Connery and those things. But for me, this was just a brand, and I'm very, very brand conscious in in a lot of lot of, in, in, in basically everything uh, that what a, what a brand stands for. And I felt this is a brand which has not yet been developed developed to what it should stand. And this is why I said, okay, I go and do this. I, of course created a modular system which was the first in the automotive world, a modular system which allowed us to make uh, different, a, a, a different character cars, cars small ones, reason. a big uh, a Ford or Rapid and convertibles and all, and have uh, by this uh, a huge advantage in, in, in development cost. Uh, had a huge, uh, of course, the advantage of the small numbers in, 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 in the volumes and engineering and the time in the time to market and all of all of those things. So this was uh, uh, created. You had the opportunity to drive the DB11 here in Malta. Um, obviously, the process towards that car was well underway when you were still in the company. As a final result, are you are you happy with the outcome? Uh, the car. 
has a, a few attributes, right? They were started under me, but I was never happy with them. With them. It's of course wider, it's longer uh, than the predecessor, the DB9. Mm -hmm. And I have a little bit of a, a concern that cars always get bigger and wider. For me, this is, this is a huge car. This is a car, of course, if I go to America, if you go to other markets, uh, if you could go to other people than me, then it's, it's something which suits very well to, to, to the market. And I can say the execution, the quality, quality execution of the car is very good. There is nothing where no noise, no gaps which are not, not right within the hood. This, everything is what I could say. Uh, this is how I would uh, like to have it. Uh, and, and of course, uh, the, the, the engine, uh, the uh, double turbocharged 12 cylinder engine was also decided before, as, as long as I was there, it was one of my, uh, how would I say, I, I, I wanted this engine, not another engine, I wanted this kind of, of engine there, and it delivers, and it delivers what, I, what, what, I, what I thought what it should deliver. So, uh, the, the car, the car uh, the, my, my judgment to the car, will be in four or five years when it is still attractive to the, to the customers and not just today. So, but I could not see what, what you could do uh, differently in the, in the development of this car. Your first visit to Malta, your impressions? I have seen I have seen a lot of Malta because I was yesterday on a, on a boat and was to the to the West Island up to the West Island. At least I could see it from a from a distance. I have uh, been in the, uh, in the in the Prime Minister's uh, uh, office and I have seen the the main cathedral for two minutes uh, and I walked. Uh, maybe 10 minutes down the roads in Valletta and others I have only seen. A, a flying visit. So, so it's, it's really something, but I, have a, I think I have, an, I have an impression and I, I am very impressed from, from the, the stone sculpture and, and how, it, how it appears. And another is that the roads, are, with the exception of a few parts, are very bad with lots of potholes and other so, so they are not, they are not acceptable. All right, I, I, I concur perfectly with you. Um, hospitality, we, we met at a, a party organized by Michael Bianchi and there was a nice display of even classic Aston. I mean, hosp hospitality, hospitality is uh, superior uh, from, from all sides where I have been. I mean, I mean, uh, that I could see the Prime Minister in a day when he had 12 or 13 presidents from, from the European state here and he, he, he enjoyed talking to me. It's, it's, I see this as a, a real, this, this is really a friendly welcome. And then of course, uh, all, the, all the, the, the people I meet and, and how positive they react to me because in, in some ways I, I have confrontational opinion about what, what, what should be and what, what things should go, even if I'm only short here. And, so no, hospitality is absolutely, absolutely uh, a, a great. Unfortunately, I couldn't do too much because uh, the nights, the nights, the nights, the nights were long and the days were short. So, thank you very, very much for your time. Thank you.